Okay, the book's filled with tips, and one of them is what are the two or three interview questions that you need to be prepared to answer? But there's also something else I found. It's a big nugget in the back of the book. It's on page 281. These are the Kurt Einstein's and Harvey McKay's 20 most revealing interview questions. So can you talk a little bit about Kurt Einstein and then give us a few insights on some questions you need to be able to answer? Surely I'll start just with a couple questions. There's about 25 or 30 of them in there. In fact, they can uh, hit my website, harveymckay.com. We've got 16, I call it the sweet 16. Beautiful questions to be prepared for. So um, we'll give them a little add-on here that they can, over and above the book, which has many, many questions. But key questions, of course, are what do you bring to the table? It's in reverse of what I was saying. What can I do for you when I'm meeting you? When you go in there, you can't be thinking of yourself. You can't be thinking of what you've done in your career. But it's what do I bring to the XYZ company? Question number two, very important. Give me some experiences of how you've brought some people along the way. You know, we're talking about key jobs here now. You have reporting people to you. How have you brought them along? What have you done? Two very key questions. Kurt Einstein, uh, many people haven't heard of him. I never have. Uh, I'm a member of the Young President's Organization. They kick you out when you're 50 years of age. They give you a rocking chair. And then you join what they call WPO, World's President's Organization. And also I'm a, a member of another offshoot of YPO, CEO, Chief Executive's Organization. So they're in... 30, 40, 50 countries, you know, YPO, 8 to 10,000 members. Uh, I get a chance to mix with a lot of different entrepreneurs and people that are running their own businesses. One of the best resources, and I've been a resource now the past 20 years, to these organizations, one of the best resources, his name was Kurt Einstein. And he came up with 20 killer questions, all right? What to look for in an interview, how to prepare uh, for the interview. Like example, how would you like to be sitting and I'm interviewing you? And would you tell me, Mr. Mike, uh, would you lie? And if so, under what circumstances? Now, I, I, don't want, I, I don't want oh, you yeah. to answer. I don't want you to answer. But, but I mean, you have to be prepared for everything, which means in a transition to, I had a great experience. Uh, in 2001, I was a Miss America judge. You know, someone has to do it. Uh, so it's a tough so job. Someone five said. days, five days of judging. Grueling days, oh, I might add. Grueling days. I mean, the swimsuit competition. <sighs> not not being chauvinistic. That's part of Miss America. You gotta hate that. That's stuff, all. Really. And there's interviews, as you well know. And there's you know all kinds of publics, whatever. All right, video shoots. They bring their they bring their video with them. So um, I knew, and I did my homework, that during the five days of questioning, I don't care what you threw at them. They have heard, they have been trained, some of them, this is not a negative, but some of those 50 women, all right, have been programmed and trained to answer every conceivable possible question before they arrive. You can't fool them. You can't trick them. Right to my brain bank, I took out a week and started thinking, what might stump all 50 contestants? Here we go. Are you ready? Question. You're Miss America now. You're running. You're Miss Alabama. All right. Yeah, I, I, are you in her shoes? I'm very sweet. One on one. Harvey and Miss Alabama. Uh, tell me. Ask me a question, <laughs> Harvey. <laughs> tell me. All right. If you were Hillary Clinton, would you have left your husband and why? That's they were not one. prepared for that question. All 50 women. Now. One of them, I'll give you the best answer. Yeah, yeah, I want to hear it. Best of them, and she called me by name, which blew me out of the saddle. You want to know why? Harvey? She memorized the judge's oh. pictures and then called me by name, and I've never met her. She said, Mr. McKay, here's my answer. All right? I would not leave him. And the reason why is I have a power base, and I believe, okay, in what I'm doing and what I'm teaching and the word that I can spread to millions of people around the world being married to the most powerful person in the world. So I would keep my power base and I would not divorce him. And that's the real truth. Well, 
She didn't win, but, <laughs> but exactly. she was a finalist. Well, probably half the people would have voted for her, right? <laughs> Isn't that the way it works? But yes. That's a great, yeah, yeah that was a very good story. Thank Thanks for that. Mm -hmm.